Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Magic Monk doing a tutorial on how to subtract numbers on paper and I'm assuming that you guys know how to add numbers on paper after doing the last tutorial because it's going to be a bit hard for you to do this without knowing how to add numbers. So let's do a simple subtraction. Let's do for example, let's do 15 minus 3. Notice how I still line up the numbers as usual. So let's look at it one column at a time. So 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus nothing is 1. So the answer is 12. So let's do another one. 26 minus 14. Let's look at the first column. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 12. 26 minus 14 is 12. And let's do something slightly harder. So I'm going to now do 25 minus 7. Now here is a problem, right? Because the number that we are subtracting from is smaller than the number we're subtracting, right? 5 is smaller than 7. So what you do is you would actually borrow a 1, a 10 from the next digit. So I'm going to subtract 1 from the next digit. So now 2 minus 1 is 1. So I only have 1. I only have 10 left. And I'm borrowing that 1 and putting it in the first column. So now it's going to be 15 takes 7. All right, 15 takes 7. So 15 takes 7. What's the answer? The answer is 8. And now I bring down this 1 because 1 minus nothing is 1, so the answer is 18. Now, 15 takes 7, what's a quicker way of doing it? Well, mentally, this is what I do. I go 10 takes 7, which is 3, and then I add on the 5. So let me explain that one again with the next one. So let's do 33 minus 15. Okay, so let's look at the first column again. 3 minus 5 because this number at the top is too small. What I do is I borrow an, a 10 from the next digit. So I borrow a 1 or a 10, however you think of it. So I'm going to borrow 1. So let's cross that 3 out, change it to a 2 because I've borrowed 1 and I'm putting that in the first column. So now it's 13 take 5. So I would mentally do 10 take 5. So I would do 10 take 5 and then plus, plus the 3 on, which is a lot quicker because 10 take 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8. All right. Or if you want, you can just do 13 take 5. It means the same thing. So 13 take 5 is 8. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 18. All right. Let's do another one. So let's do... Uh, 56 minus uh, 28. Okay, so 6 minus 8, 6 is not big enough. Let's borrow 1 from the next digit. So it's now 16 minus 8. So it's 10 minus 8, which is 2, plus 6, which is 8. All right, and 4 minus 2 is 2. Alright, and let's do another one. Uh, 76 minus 67. Okay. <clears throat> 6 minus 7, again, we have to borrow a, a 10. So it's now 16 takes 7. 10 takes 7 is 3. Plus the 6, which is 9. 6 minus 6 is nothing, so the answer is 9. So 76 takes 67 is 9. Let's do one with decimal points. 42.38 minus 5.94. One column at a time. 8 minus 4 is 4. 3 minus 9, not big enough. Borrow 1 from the next digit. So 13 take 9. 10 take 9 is 1 plus 3 is 4. Uh, 1 plus, sorry, 1 minus 5, again, not big enough, so let's borrow 1 from the next digit. So it's now 11 take 5, which is 6. <clears throat> 
3 minus nothing is 3, so the answer is 36.44. Right, do we need another one? Um, let's just give you guys a series of questions and you can try it out. <clears throat> so try these questions out and come back when you're done. So 9 minus 3 is 6, 0 minus nothing is 0, 1 minus nothing is 1. 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 1 is 1, 5 minus 7, borrow 1 from the next digit. So actually I'll write that 4 here. So now it's uh, 15 minus 7 which is 8, 4 minus nothing is 4. Okay, so 5 minus 6, not enough. This is tricky, right? This is tricky because I'm going to have to borrow from over here okay which is going to give me uh cuz if you borrow one from here then that's going to give me negative 1 so that's not going to work so we got to borrow from here and that's going to be a 1 so now i have a 10 now i have a 10 but because i'm going to have to borrow one from that so i can cross that out and change that to a 9 right so now i have a 15 over here. Now I have 15. 15 takes 6 is, uh, well, 10 takes 6 is 4, plus the 5 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2, and 1 minus nothing is 1. So the answer is 129. Last one, 8 minus 0 is 8, 4 minus 9 not big enough, so borrow uh, 1 from the next digit, so 14 minus 9, 10 minus 9 is 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 2 minus 7 not big enough, borrow 1, so 12 minus 7, 10 minus 7 is 3, plus 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, so now I got 25 minus, uh, 25.58. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.